What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about hard drives. Hyperspin hard drives that you could buy on eBay or on Craigslist. Let's take a real close look at what you could be buying. So quick reason why I'm making this video is because I get a lot of messages on Instagram and on Facebook of people looking for information on these drives and all that. Uh, one that really caught my eye was that somebody wanted a control panel and they're like, hey, Vic, I bought some guy's eight terabyte hard drive. It's loaded. It's got everything you could think about. And when I basically asked him for a list of the fighting games, uh, like PC fighting games, he only had like two. So I'm making this video to give you a heads up in case you're ever looking at buying a hyperspin drive or a launch box drive. You got to really think about these drives before you make that purchase, because some of these drives are expensive. Some of them are cheap. Some of them are expensive, but the best and the funniest thing is that people and sellers will advertise 8 terabytes, 30 terabytes, 40 terabytes, but you really don't even know what's within those 40 terabytes. So right now, basically, backstory for another channel, I'm working on Eugene's 40 terabyte bar top build, which right now, this is going to be on the next episode, I'm going to show you my hyperspin drive. I've been doing hyperspin for about six years now, so I know the ins and outs, and I've seen many drives. And I'll be honest, some of my drive is copy and pasted from other people's drives. Way back six years ago, I had a guy that by the name of Oliver with a kid named Oliver. I really took part of his drive, and that's really how I started and really accumulated into like 40 different drives. Basically, I now made my personal drive, and I consider my drive to be a clean, like no BS, no filler, the main systems that you would know. That's how I created my hyperspin drive. You're going to see drives that have like 300 systems. This is literally what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you somebody's hard drive, which was really, I think, was a 42 terabyte hard drive. I'm going to load up his hyperspin. I'm going to load up his rocket launcher. And you're going to like literally see how much bullshit is inside of this drive. I hate to say it, but there is a lot of crap inside these drives to fill it up. Um, me personally, if I was a customer... And I received a drive like this. I have the systems I know for a fact. I don't know. You won't know. Um, you know, I'm only 30 years old. I've been gaming all my life. And there's a lot of systems on these drives. And it's very repetitive. There's a lot of BS systems that I've never even heard of. And, you know, I'm pretty sure nobody wants it. Also, keep in mind, Hyperspin is a front end. It keeps all your systems very well organized. And it's, it's a beautiful front end. It's really like a library. And you having 300 systems on this like drive on hyperspin, it's going to look god awful. Not to mention, it's going to take you forever to navigate it. So let's go right to the desktop. I'm going to show you this person specific hyperspin drive, and we're going to basically dissect it. And I'm going to show you what bullshit basically this customer bought. So, again, I'm making this video just to explain to you as a person that's looking at getting a hyperspin drive and all that just to give you a heads up on what you could be purchasing it's going to lead into what basically my website will be kind of designed around as far as having people choose what they want in their build i believe that's a strong thing that people want i get a lot of messages that say hey vic does your thing play this does your drive have that i want to play psv so i don't want to build your drive and then find out that it's wasted bs space that you don't even want to play so a lot of people, again, they message me, and I'm, the first question I always ask them is, what system do you want to play? Basically, with that information, once I know what systems you want to play, we can determine what kind of computer um, will be needed, such as if you want a Raspberry Pi, maybe a Jamma board could work, like a Pandora's box, or if we have to go into a PC build. All right, guys, so right now, this is Eugene's um, arcade. Um, basically, I'm going to take his desktop, my, on my end, I believe that I've filled this computer up to the max. I'm going to first show you the rocket launcher file from the original purchase hard drive. Uh, this is the rocket launcher. If you don't know rocket launcher, this is basically the back end of hyperspin. This is what you know tells hyperspin to launch and the emulators and all that. First thing is take a look right here, making sure that you can see that. Yeah, we have 410 systems. That is a ridiculous amount of systems, 410. You're going to see Hyperspin be like launched, and you're going to see just the endless, endless amount of wheels. It's 
that's that's a lot. 410 systems is insane. Let's take a look real quick like at a couple of these. Because like I said, for me, I'm, I can guarantee you I probably only own about maybe 10% of, the, of what these games are. Some of the people, the older generation, the older crowd might know these systems. Me personally, I'm telling you, I, there's a lot of bullshit in this. And you got to remember that 410 systems, that's how you get to like 42, 45 terabytes. Each system has ROMs, has video files, images, and it just eats up storage. I mean, again, look at this, 410 systems. Just Let's just take a look real quick. You got this AAE, I don't know what that is. Like, I, I'm going to just say, I don't know, I don't know, we'll go down the list. I don't know AAE, I don't know what this Amber Pegasus is, I don't know what this is, BB Micro, Acorn, ALF TV, I don't know what this is. Again, I'm, I'm already hitting systems that I don't even know. Amstrad, Amstrad, Apple II, these are like old stuff. Uh, Another thing about these systems that it does have banners and has collections. So, for example, this person's drive has like a banner and basically separates it within hyperspin that anything underneath that banner is considered arcade. So, you know, I would say there's probably about maybe like, I don't know, 50 banners or or collections. I, I don't have those. I took those out. My drive is just so much simpler. I don't think you need it. Um, let's keep going. So you got like this. Trivia Challenger, Schmups is a category. You got your Ataris. I know these Ataris. 8-bit, uh, the Atari Classics is another kind of category. Atari Lynx, the Atari ST, System 1, 2, Bally, Bandai, Wonder Swan, that's a handheld, I believe. Band Presto, like, I mean, again, it's, uh, me personally, again, I don't know. I, I don't know a lot of these. These are just a lot of when I see it, it's bullshit. When I like load up an arcade, my customers want to load up an arcade, they go, Vic, like, I want to play Mario Kart. Like, that's all I care about. This stuff is like, again, I don't know. You got this Casio PV. You have a lot of stuff. But the hardest thing that I've always seen is that people buy like these eight terabyte drives and automatically it's full of this shit. AAE, Apple, two systems that you would never even know existed or would even imagine playing. I know for a fact that they're full of that garbage. Um, I rarely get people that want the Commodore 64. It's cool. It's an old system. Some people want to relive that. But to me, that's like, it's nonsense. The Commodore 64 also, from what I understand, you need a full-blown keyboard for the Commodore 64 because that's what I believe was the controller. Again, I'm not an expert at all this, but again... You're going to put this inside of an arcade cabinet. I, to me, it's just pointless. Uh, you got some collections. You have consoles. So, again, another banner. Uh, Data East, that's really a MAM collection. You know, again, some people don't know these company names. They don't know, you know, Konami. They don't know Capcom. But, you know, most of my, my people know it. But, again, let's just keep going. As of right now, I have yet to hit a system that I even want to play. Um, there are a couple of new that I took from here, Big Fish Games, but I'm going to do that on another drive. I was talking about my hyperspin drive. We're talking about this person, you know, spent a lot of money, like no BS. I think the customer spent about maybe 650 on this 40 terabyte drive, which is, I mean, again, there is stuff. It will have your systems, but I don't think it's 40 terabytes worth. It's, you know, also, I remember the hard drives they had to purchase for this thing. You know, you're talking expensive hard drives, $300 external hard drive just for it. But again, as of right now, I've yet to see anything that I want to play. Driving games is a good kind of man wheel to, you know, designate your driving games. That's awesome. That stuff I get, I respect it. But here we go. We got this Electronica BK. We got this Adventure Vision. We got an Exidy Classics. Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, let's see. Fruit Machine and Slot Machine. Spreads on Fire, I added. To my drive, it's pretty cool. Again, different video for that. You got pinball, cool. I want pinball, awesome. We finally got one thing that I wanted, which is pinball. Um, Vectrex, I did have like four or five customers know the Vectrex and wanted it. It's there. Luckily, Vectrex, like those files are very tiny. It's very minimal. It's not that major. Uh, GOG is a PC kind of game. I forgot what it was called. Good on gaming, something like that. Um, Homebrew MAM is another version of MAM. Ice Cold Game is new too. I put that on my drive too. I like the, the features on that. But here we go. Like IREM, 
M10. Like th th this right here is like eight consoles alone. I have no idea what it is. The Jayco Corp. Um, let's keep going. You got some uh, collections here. The Luxor ABC. Like I, you're not going to play these. That's like the worst. And you got to remember that like you're going to be going through 400 systems. That's ridiculous. The MSX, the MSX2, I never heard of these systems. I don't know. We got the Xbox, awesome. We got the Xbox 360, awesome. I've hit like four systems so far that I want. You do have Mam Arcade 5, great. Let's keep rocking. Um, Mugen, I'm not a fan of Mugen, but, you know, it's kind of like open bore. I don't like it, but I don't care. Namco, we got a bunch of Namco systems. NEC, PC8801. Again, it's, I'm just showing you how much crap is on this drive. And again, it's 410 systems. It's, it's insane. Now we're hitting some Nintendo stuff. Awesome. This whole Nintendo thing, I, I have that. I love it. The Game & Watch, I threw that out. It's so pointless. I, I, if you want it, let me know, but I just took that out. But we have a good, you know, I would say as far as Nintendo, is a good maybe 15 systems. The Nintendo Satellite View, I've never heard of it. I junked it. The Super Famicom, I left. The Game Boy, I left. In all honesty, the Famicom and like the Super Nintendo Entertainment System has almost duplicate games. That's another thing. I try to avoid systems and games that are duplicates within the system. It just eats up space. We got the Switch, which is awesome. Virtual Boy, we got the Wii, the Wii U, awesome. The whole Nintendo collection, great. That's a good like 15 systems out of 410 that anybody would even want. Um, Pac-Man, Panasonic 3DO, nobody's going to play this. PC fighting games. We got some PC games. That's awesome. That's great. Philips CD. You're not going to play it. We got some pinball. We got some pinball. Awesome. Three. There's really only four pinball systems. Um, but within those systems, there's a lot of ROM. So that's always good. I have a lot of people that want pinball. I like pinball. That's good. What is, we got Polygame Master. Uh, the Atmos Wave, in all honesty, in the, in the past, I had no idea what that was. I used to junk it. But apparently, this is actually arcade Jamaboard board kind of stuff. There is actually some good games within that, which in Eugene's Drive, I put that. I did a lot of now like the Sega Model 2s, Tato Type X, because I've learned from that. You know, that is some stuff that you want. Sega, awesome. Sega 32X I have, the CD I have, the Dreamcast I have, the Game Gear and the Genesis, that's it. The Hikaru is another um, arcade cabinet type of thing, Master System, Mega Drive. Segas are all right. You know, many people know the Segas, but then you hit like, the Pico, I don't know what that is. Sega Saturn has been popular. A lot of people do request that. Then you hit like this SG. Uh, I don't know what that is. Sega Triforce is a current arcade um, emulator, so we're going to keep that. Then, you, again, I'm just talking while we go through it. A lot of bullshit systems. It's insane. Sinclair, I don't know what that is. SNK is classic. We do know that. My only gripe about SNK is like the pocket and the pocket color have almost the same exact number of games and games. So that's like duplicate. It's just so much. You're going to get advertised, you know, 40,000 games. Meanwhile, a good 10,000 are duplicates from other systems. PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, awesome. Now we're hitting stuff that we want. Spectrum video, I have no idea what the hell that is. You got your collections. We got Super Nintendo. Tato is a hit or miss. I've never really looked at all of these. But again, I do know that Tato Type X is the main one that I know. That is a arcade emulator right now that's running like Tekken 7 and all that. You even have Techno Power. That is a new emulator. So that keeps going. Nobody wants to play Texas Instruments, the freaking calculator on their arcade. Like, no. Like, just stop it. Nobody wants that. Let's get rid of that. You got collections. Then you got another visual pinball. Awesome. If I look back at this video, there's probably like, I don't know, 30 or 40 systems that we actually even want. So this again is Rocket Launcher. I'm going to load up this guy's hyperspin drive. And we're just going to look at it. And I hope I can control it. Thank you. Oh, I'm using the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Here we go. So real quick, let's just go. We're, we're going to look here. We're, we're starting with Arcade Classic. I'm just going to hold this wheel down. And we're just going to, like, right now, we are literally going through 410 systems. And the hard thing is that this hyperspin drive is not in alphabetical order. I don't believe it is. We're still going. I didn't, I want to make sure I'm not missing it. 
And here we go, we're back. So, I mean, that's just me holding it down. Again, we are right now going through 410 systems. It is ridiculous. I think that's insane. There's so much clutter on this. And again, remember, video files, you got theme files. It all adds up. It, that, that's the biggest thing that everybody needs to understand is that it just adds up. And it takes a good, just holding it down. I mean, you're talking like, what, 30 seconds, which might not sound a lot, but it's just, there's just so much stuff. And again, you can't, you can't like skip the letter. So let's say right now, I want to play the Super Nintendo. This is literally the face that somebody is going to make, like trying to look for it. Got it. I got Super Nintendo. I got Super Nintendo CD. This looks like the regular one, Super Nintendo. That's great. This is a CD. Yeah, like this. Great. I found it. Let's go to PlayStation 3. Got it. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. We're looking for it. I want to go to MAM. Let's do some arcade action. Again, I'm not trying to pretend. I'm not trying to delay. It's just right now. Those two, honestly, we found fast because I think I was in within the console wheel. Um, here we go. I got MAM. Great. I want to play the Game Boy Advance. And again, notice that I'm saying systems that I know. Like, I know the Game Boy Advance. I grew up with the Game Boy Advance. I want to play the Game Boy Advance. But, I mean, I really don't want to sit here. Here we go. Game Boy Advance. Awesome. Got it. So, I mean, again, it's a plus and minus for what I'm saying, but if you're a fan of, like, going through all this, it's just... To me, it's just so cluttered, and I really can't stand it. Um, but yes, this is literally what you could see and happen when you look at, you know, somebody purchasing a, a hard drive. Um, what happened? I can't go up. Got a little bit of a delay there, but okay. Uh, let's check out some PC fighting games. Again, I don't know what this is mapped to. Oh, what did I hear? On my drive, it's a very simple enter. On this drive, apparently, it is not a simple enter. And uh, well, this really is like set to you know work off with an arcade like stick. I just want to select something. Like why? Why go away from enter? Is it space? One. Button two. Okay, so let's just see real quick. We're gonna start. This is PC fighting game. This again, like I said, a customer. He's like, I got everything. I'm like, okay, you got like Mortal Kombat 11? Because in this world, it's all cracked games. You can't play these games online. Again, there's gonna be a lot of videos that I've come out with. Um, there's yet to be a Mortal Kombat 11 crack, so that's why I asked him. He's like, oh yeah, I got that. Sure enough, he didn't have it. Uh, so let's start with Blue. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two Mortal Kombat X's. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You got fifteen. Fifteen games, that's solid. I think I'm at like twenty-six. Um, that's fine. I'm not gonna knock it. This is cool. Again, very nice with the theme. These themes are awesome, but they do take up a lot of space. For me on my PC games, I, I didn't bother with these. Oh, we got an error. Great. That's another reason why these hard drives, I mean, literally, let's look at regular PC game. Because again, I try to aim for like, this is only has a couple. Well, okay. Was it aliens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got twelve PC games. Awesome games that aren't even intriguing to me. Uh, GOG. I think there was a lot of these. These are actually a little bit cleaner. Um, this is really where you know you're supposed to extract these. I believe somebody said. Um, but. You know, I don't want to knock this, but it's Tropico. I mean, you got this actually has a couple of good PC games. I mean, you're talking about actual PC games. That's awesome. Like, great. We found one thing. PC games is awesome. I dig it. Um, but yeah, again, like I said, there's a lot of filler. A lot, a lot, a lot. But what I'm trying to get at you with this video is that basically, don't be afraid to contact the person that's making these drives and ask them for a list. 
you know, you do want to see what exactly is involved in these. These are all arcade. These are basically categories. Um, you know, it takes this company and makes a category. So that's fine. I don't like it. To me, it's just such a pain in the ass. I don't deal with it. We got shmups. And we're still inside of this. Some of these are PC executables. I believe that's PC games. Dance Dance Revolution, interesting. Pinball Classic, so this is a banner, it goes into pinball. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pinballs, which makes sense. What is this? We have a collection? I don't understand. I guess this is all pinball collections within an all system. Mortal Kombat. Like this, I have that kind of collection stuff on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it is clean, I get it, but honestly, with me and the coding on that, it's just a nightmare. I try not to put it on every single drive. But now we're inside uh, Nintendo. I don't know what wheel I'm under. It's like, you know, he had the banner set up. Again, most of this is cool. Yes, I get it. It's just a lot of this is just junk. Again, 410 systems. I think that's just a ridiculous amount of systems for anybody to ever go through. Um, but again, you want to buy a hyperspin drive 2020 go through this i'm also making this because um there is some other people like on youtube that make cabinets and um they do buy people's drives and i literally watched this guy and he was like oh if you have any issue like just message that guy because i only build a cabinet oh Sorry about that guys, looks like my camera froze up, but we're back to normal and everything. So again, just to kind of finalize on this, you know, be careful of what you're purchasing, these hard drives that you're getting. I get it's cool, like, to have all these systems, but in all honesty, the other big thing to keep in mind is that you have 410 systems. You know how much, like, time you have to spend going into each emulator and, like, fixing and adjusting that emulator? That is just a huge nightmare. Uh, I would never want to deal with that nightmare. Um, some people have mastered, you know, emulating and, and, you know, getting it to easily work within all the systems. For me, I always test, especially when it comes to people getting bar tops, I always test each emulator. It's got to work with my arcade sticks and it has to work with the Xbox controller. That's like my biggest, biggest thing. The plan is for the website is that people will be able to tick off check boxes and let me know exactly what they're looking for. Uh, that was the biggest goal that I want out of that website. And then with it, it could, I'll be able to tell how many terabytes or how many gigs you need and, and so on. So that was the biggest thing is that I would rather make a drive knowing that you want that specific system. Uh, I'm looking for the Windows thing. I don't want to bore you guys, but this is literally a $600 drive you guys are looking at right now. And people put these inside their arcade cabinets, and it's just, uh, you know, imagine like somebody contacting the person and like, hey, um, uh, for some reason the IREM M27, the, the buttons don't work. I, what? <laughs> I'd be like, what? <laughs> Again, I uh, just wanted to show you guys because there are people out there that do sell hard drives. And this is what you could look forward to. Again, for me, I'm trying to change the game. I would rather have people select exactly what they're looking for. This is a good right here. PlayStation 2. Ow. I pressed the wrong button, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I even enter it? I can't. All right, that is it, guys. I'm going to end it right there. So again, be careful what you're getting because some of these drives are expensive. On the next video, you're going to see my hyperspin drive.